Number seven ministries. The spirit of the Lord is on me because He has anointed me to preach good news. Hello, welcome to Number Seven Ministries Christian Outreach. Today's short sermon that is called "Are You a Eagle or a Pigeon?" And the reason why God showed me the distinguish between the two is because one has a glory that the other doesn't have. This is the thing, is that I wanted to make the eagle look like such a magnificent bird and make the pigeon look like it's nothing, like there's nothing spectacular about it. But the truth is this, is that the more I researched the two birds, the more I discovered how great both of them are. Both the pigeon and the eagle have spectacular eyesight and they can see far away. Both the eagle and the pigeon have an electromagnetic uh, sonar system built into their brain to help them relocate and orient themselves where they're flying. And both the pigeon and the eagle are able to fly fast. But the difference between the two birds is that the eagle, when he flies, he flies alone. And the pigeons, when they fly, they fly in flocks. And the reason why I want to mention that is because there has to be something different about Christians. Look at this. If God sends us on a mission, and the mission that he sends us on, every single person in the world is doing the exact same thing, then what glory is it to God in our life if we're doing exactly what everyone else is doing? There's no glory. The fact for it to be a glory in itself it has to be something that other people are not doing. It has to be something that's not the popular or the common trend, and that way God can get glory out of it if, in fact, it is something that he told us and commanded us and spoke to us in particular to do. And don't go ahead and try to volunteer and do something that everyone else isn't doing because that's not necessarily going to be glory, and there's no glory in defeat. There's glory in doing something that God told you to do successfully and obeying him. The first Bible verse that I want to read is Matthew chapter 19, verse 29, and it says, And everyone that hath forsaken houses, or brethren, or sisters, or fathers, or mother, or wife, or children, or land, for my name's sake, shall receive a hundredfold, and shall inherit everlasting life. See. Basically, what I discovered is that pigeons, they flock together because of security. They don't go out on their own. They, the pigeons flock together in groups because they feel more secure and they feel that there's more chance that they're going to survive. And so this is my question. Are you constantly surrounding yourself by other people looking for security in your family, looking for security alone in your wife, looking for security in people, places, and things? Because this is what God is showing us, is that he's going to send all of his children on a glorious mission. It's going to be something that other people are not going to be able to help you in. He's going to give you an assignment. The more you seek God, the more he's going to show you what to do. The more you seek after God, the more he's going to tell you what to do. But there's going to come a time in your Christian walk that God is going to send you on an assignment where you are going to have to do it alone. Your mom's not going to be able to help you. Your husband or your wife is not going to be able to help you. Your brother, your sister, all the money in the world, the materialism, it's not going to be able to help you accomplish this assignment that God sends you on. But I will tell you that God will help you on whatever it is that he sends you out to do. The next Bible verse that I'm going to read is in Genesis chapter 22, verse 5. And it says, And Abraham said unto his young men, Abide here with the ass, and I and the lad will go yonder and worship and come again to you. Look at what Abraham said to his servants. He said he's going to go and worship. Now you answer me this. Did Abraham really go and worship? No. Abraham heard from God and God sent him on an assignment where he told his servants they absolutely cannot come. He said you wait here and me and the lad are going to go down yonder. See this is the thing. 
he could not tell the servants the truth of what God told him to do. And there's going to be assignments that God sends us on that we cannot tell other people what God told us to do because it's not logical, it's not rational, it doesn't make any sense, it's not even profitable, and it may be even deemed as sin in their eyes because God told you to do it, did not tell them to do it. And if you tell them the things that God tells you to do all the time, you're going to find out they're going to reject you, they're going to flip out, they're going to come against you, and they're going to attack you. But this is the thing, God is not calling us to share everything that he tells us to do all the time. And notice this, when he went on the assignment to sacrifice his son, he brought nobody but the things that he needed to do it. Nothing else. He didn't bring a bunch of money. He didn't bring extra horses. He didn't bring a sacrifice just in case an extra sheep in case God changed his mind. No, he only brought and used what God told him to do. And that is why Abraham was glorifying God in his life. And the last Bible verse I want to read is Matthew chapter 8, verse 34. And when he called the people unto him, with his disciples also he said unto them whosoever will come after me let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me look at this it says let him take up his cross it doesn't say take up your neighbor's cross it doesn't say take up the cross of Jesus Christ it says let him take up his own cross look at this God is gonna sign each Christian his own burdens that he is going to have to bear on his own. Yes, God is going to help you, but it's going to be hard and you can reach out all you want to the people, places, and things, but they're not going to be able to help you. And if they do, it will not be glorious. God bless you and become an eagle in the spirit. Glory in your life. The next Bible verse that I want to read How you doing? Oh, it's okay. I'm actually shooting a video I, just for five minutes. I, assuming that it, it takes a good take. Yeah. How's the fishing going down there? How's the fishing going down there? Well, so far I've a lot of rocks. Just, just throw a stick of dynamite in there and blow them all up. You'll get a bunch of shit. <laughs> That's like crocodile honey. That's how he goes for shit. Just use a stick of dynamite. The park rangers might not like that though. Alright, well you have a good day. Take care. Alright. Number seven ministries, the Spirit of the Lord is on me because He has anointed me to preach good news.